Hey there, and welcome back. And today, I am gonna rock your world with this little barbell math trick. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, nope, no way, Phil. My world is unrockable. False, I'm gonna prove you wrong. All right, so this is a little math check. It's not gonna tell you necessarily where, whether you have the weight correct on your bar, but it can be a very easy way to potentially tell you if you've got the weight wrong. And sometimes that's a very useful thing if you're lifting or maybe you're coaching some lifters and you need to do some quick barbell math checks. And this is the trick, all right? It's not really a trick, it's just, it's math. So you're loading up the bar and you're like, man, today I'm gonna squat 220 pounds, which is 100 kilos, so that's kind of a fun landmark as well. But I'm gonna squat 220 pounds, which means, man, I got double plates coming up next, I'm excited, no. But you finish squatting and then you double check the math on your bar and you've got 45, so you got 135 pounds and you got 185 pounds because you got a 25 and then you add the 10s, you're like, all right, that's 205 and then you got a five and you're like, man, 215 pounds. I just did all this work and it was 215 pounds and I meant to do 220. Boo hoo, woe is me. There's an easy way to check. When you add, first of all, we start with the 45 pound bar, right? All of these plates, your major plates, and we're not talking about 1.25 pound plates here, but your major plates, and I, right now I mean from five pounds on up, every time you add them together, you end up with a multiple of 10. You know, this is not exciting, but it's important. Hear me out. A 45 plus a 45, 90, right? So you add that on to something that weighs 45, and because it's a multiple of 10, you still have something that ends in the number five. Likewise, 25 and 25, it's a 50. If you add it on to here, it's still gonna end in a five. A 10 and a 10, that's 20. You add it on to here, it still ends in a five. A five and a five, that's 10. You add it on to here. All of these plates from a five on up, if you add it on to the bar, one on each side, the number will always, always, always end in a five. That's why this is 215 pounds. Thank you, Parker, not 220. So here's your trick. If there's no two and a half pound plate on the bar, the number ends in a five. So if I want 220, I know at a distance, without even knowing what this actually is, I know it's not 220 because there's not a two and a half pound plate on the bar. So if I want it to be 220 pounds, 220 ends in a zero. So I've got to have a two and a half pound plate, all right? So, if you didn't follow all the math, the takeaway is if the barbell needs, if the weight on the bar needs to end in a zero, like 220, you need a two and a half pound plate as the last plate on the bar. Assuming that you're loading it in the correct manner where you always put on the biggest plate possible, all right? If the number is gonna end in a five, then it's gonna end, well, it's gonna end without a two and a half pound plate, all right? So that's math trick number one. There's also a trick for kilos. Okay. In kilograms, if you train in kilograms, maybe you are a weightlifter, maybe you watch weightlifting meets, or maybe you just, for whatever reason, have plates like these. And I'm talking about having plates that obey what is known as the one kilogram rule, where you can go up one kilogram at a time. So you can do 182, 183. So you've got half kilogram plates, you've got one kilogram plates, one and a half kilogram plates, and they're color coded. And it turns out this is real useful. This is based on the idea that from the red plates on up, from the two and a half kilo plates on up, whether you are using a men's bar, a 20 kilo bar, or a women's bar, a 15 kilo bar, or a junior bar, a 10 kilo bar, or a technique bar, uh, like a five kilogram aluminum bar, everything is gonna end in a, it's, it's gonna be a multiple of five, which means, you remember this from grade school, everything is gonna end in a zero or a five, okay? So from the reds on up, Everything, when you add it onto the bar, it's gonna cause the bar to end in something like a 150, 155, 160, 165, you get the idea. So there's a quick check using the rest of these plates, okay? So picture the number zero or picture the number five, all right? If you have a half kilo plate on each side, half and a half makes a one. So you add one kilo total to a zero or a five and you end up with either a one or a six. So at a distance, real fast check if this small white plate, again, assuming that you're loading your plate, you're loading your bar always with the largest possible plates and you're not doing something stupid like combining a 1.5 and a one because you could have just done a two and a half. You will know, real fast check, hi buddy, that your weight ends in a one or a six. So let's say you mean to load up 182 kilos and you've got these on the bar. Well, you know it's wrong. You might not know what the weight is, but you know it has to end in a one or a, one or a six and you meant to load 182, okay? So 
And this becomes very quick. With practice, you'll know real fast. You're like, oh, I need, you know, 193 kilos. I guess I'm going to need yellows, okay? So moving on to the greens. Let me recap. Half kilo plates will make for a one or a six. One kilo plates together make two, right? So it's going to be, the bar is going to end in a two or a seven. One and a half kilo plates, you put them together, you get a three. So the weight's going to end with a three or an eight. And last, two kilo plates, you put them together, you get a four. So the weight on the bar is going to end with a four or a nine. It's a very useful trick. It has saved many people from lifting the wrong weight, especially in competition. Hopefully you find this useful. If you did, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button or leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. We will see you next time. And as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.